All right, I've opened it up. Um, this board here, uh, there's just four screws that take it out. It had this uh, kind of double sticky tape though that needed to be relieved, but um, the inside is the reason I want it in here. Um, so first of all, this transformer is loose. You can see that there is a uh, screw missing. And in fact, the uh, washer is here. So that needs to be, that needs to be fixed. And this, this one is loose on this side. The PC board is also loose and it's missing a standoff here. And this standoff is loose. And uh, so it does need some, does need some work. Um, the uh, wires are a bit how you doing, uh, but they're okay, I guess. Um, there's obviously some writing in here, plus 12, minus 12, plus five. So there's some regulators in there. Interesting. Uh, yeah, these are three terminal regulators. That's just a pass transistor, a, a tip 3055. All right, standard stuff. Uh, somebody measured some voltages here because there's some adjustments, I guess, but they measured some voltages. Uh, 50 ohm load tested okay. 4997 by WS. Raise your hand if you're WS. Um, so is that Will Smith? Who is WS? So anyway, I say, uh, it's an ENL board and I say we, uh, find some, um, find some more screws and standoffs and stuff and make this better. Yeah, let's make this better. All right, well, they did a good thing here. They uh, scraped the paint off of uh, off of the chassis here so the ground the ground can make good connection to it. I think maybe it's better if that were underneath. I think we'll do it that way. Um, This is a number eight or number, oh, it's a number six screw in there. I got a number eight out. Better get a number six. So do you see all the wire wrapping here? Yeah, tons of wire wrapping on this uh, proto area here. So that's what it was back in the day. Uh, half soldered, half wire wrapped. So kind of weird soldered in the soldered in the sockets and then a wire wrap to them so okay um a lot of extra solder there what's that for something was added over here i don't know why those were reworked but there's a lot of flux right there the other part of the board's been flux free maybe i'll clean up some flux while i'm here Looks better. There's also some missing, missing bypass caps. I don't know if I'll fuss with those right now, but um, I think I should later. All right, good enough. This is like it needs a little cleaning here, too. Just using isopropyl alcohol. Mm. 
No, this one's been added. Is that the one that... No, I don't know. Kind of strange that some of the things are soldered and some of the things have... Some of the things still have flux on them, so I'm not quite sure what to... What to make of that. I guess some things were added later on or fixed later on. It's always interesting to see what people have done in the past. good. We'll call that good. All right, uh, all back together. I made some improvements. Um, uh, I put a bunch of uh, bypass caps that were missing. Although these aren't loaded yet, there's some here that are loaded and they didn't put in the bypass cap. So all of the yellow caps are mine and all of the blue caps were, were already there. I also moved the, um, also moved the wire. I had the wire coming from the outside, um, which didn't make any sense. So I've moved the wire to the inside. So now nothing protrudes the back. So everything's wired <clears throat> internally. And I put a couple of test points on a five, five volt and ground test point here. And I put another ground here so I can clip my, clip my probe on, take a look around. So anyway, I think it's a, I think it's an improvement. Um, 